three generations, three experiences, three perspectives. Hence the title of my Tech Talk. Pardon me. Hence the title of my Tech Talk, Digital Transformation of the Dating Landscape. Surrounded by three generations, namely the silent generation, Generation X, and of course me, the millennial, after a family Christmas dinner, we start talking about the four-letter word, love, and I started putting the dots together. And my granny first starts and says, dating in my times never existed. Very imminent about it. There was no such thing as dating. Your grandfather saw me in the rural outskirts of KZN, in the mountains, holding my bucket up high, going to fetch water in the river, and said, this is the woman I want to marry. Did not ask for permission, went straight to my family, wrote a letter, took it to my family, and before I knew it, I was lobolid, I moved to another family, and now with five children, 12 grandchildren, and six great-grandchildren, that is how my love story went. Oh, the silent generation. Then my mom was like, oh, no. They moved from the rural outskirts to the townships. They were the pioneers of the love game. With the township being so densely populated, they were able to start communicating and having their own perspectives of life. They were nothing like the silent generation. They were quite the opposite, in actual fact. My mom said there was a new element that changed the dating game for them. It was called the telephone. It's red because it is the love telephone. <laughs> what she said is, we all called it telcom. There was, it was only telcom that existed. She said, your dad would say to me, call me at 12 o'clock, or you call me at 6 o'clock after my parents are busy with dinner or busy with lunch. Once they call each other, they tell each other where they will meet, what time they will meet, and then they will be there. Human interaction was a very important part of their dating. On the other hand, the millennial, ah, me, of course. With the city life, we're so busy. Our lives, the work, we are an integrated generation. We actually want to be able to play and work hard in the environment we live in. So I told them we don't have time for human interaction. It all happens in our hands with a very small mobile device. And I told them we found the answer to our problem. And I called it Tinder. <laughs> of course, Tinder. Tinder is a location-based search mobile application. It is a dating service that was launched in 2012. You have a profile, you can read profiles, you put a little bio together, and from that bio, you can actually, they match you up with people that they think will be best suited for you. If you like a person, of course, you'll swipe right. If you don't like a person and they're not for you, you swipe left. This is a convenient way to have all your options in the palm of your hands. Once you've got all those options at the palm of your hands, it also tells you their location. So you don't actually have to guess how far your date is living away from you. Possible date, of course, up until they agree to meet with you. So this is a profile of a Tinder person that I think would match my profile. So Tabo is 26. He's an integration engineer. He lives in Santon, oh my word, dream guy. Can you, can you see he has a suit on even? 
he lives less than a kilometer away from me. So with Tabo's profile, there is so many other more options. So I'm not just forced to look at Tabo. There is other Tabos that I might be interested in. And that is the dating game that I'm in right now. Don't have to be based on human interaction. It can be on the phone. We can then have dates. When we meet at a certain location, if we don't like each other, we swipe left. We don't have to, you don't even have to break up with the person. It's done, it was online, nothing new. <laughs> you move on to the next table. <laughs> so there's actually one million dates per week that happen on Tinder globally. So people are meeting up, they're swiping left, they're swiping right, and some, only, only 20%, unfortunately, are meeting the life partner. The rest, I'm not really sure what they're doing. <laughs> I've got interesting facts about the online dating, but it is based on American statistics. 40% of Americans use online dating. 40%. And more men, in actual fact, use the dating applications than women. I don't know why. It, there must be a reason. <laughs> and 53% of the people lie on their online profile. They lie about their age, they lie about their height, their weight, and their job income. Of course, if you want to date you, you need to put a bit of spice in it. And one thing that Tinder has realized is that location matters. People don't want to actually go on a date further away. Tinder is available nationally, it is available globally, but people still meet within the certain location that they're in. I told my family about this, and they're very surprised and shocked at how millennials have no form of perspective in terms of dating. Now, it's all about the many options and the level the person is in. It's not about the human connection, it's not about the... The, the, the norms as well as um, the, re the, the traditional ways of doing things. So that is how the digital transformation of the dating landscape has changed over the generations. Thank you.